Hello and welcome. You're watching Hat to Hat on UATV, and I'm Alice Gerjuk. A French Ukrainian documentary, We Are Soldiers, recently premiered in Kiev. The film tells the story of three Ukrainian volunteer soldiers who were severely wounded while fighting in eastern Ukraine. After being screened in Kiev, the film is slated to be presented at the Rome and Hollywood Film Festivals. To talk more about We Are Soldiers, we are joined in the studio today by Svetlana Smirnova, the director of the documentary. Hello and thank you for coming. Hello, thank you too. <laughs> so, Ms. Mirnova, tell us a bit more about this movie. What, what is it about? This movie about three soldiers, three volunteers. Um, they are in a hospital, Ukrainian hospital, and um, after a while they have a lot of uh, injury of body. Uh, for example, one uh, hero hasn't legs at all, uh, and to um, have bad injury too. Um, so the shooting was taking place actually in the military hospital, yes. you say? Yes. And you And you selected the injured soldiers? Yes. Mm -hmm. What are their life stories about? What does it depict, the movie itself? Um, I, I think um, the most important in this documentary is uh, audience to like these people, to understand uh, all time we image uh, who is soldiers, it's special people, yeah? But it's not special, it's real people with real life and uh, uh, three heroes has so interesting life, so different because they are, have different age, uh, they are from different part from U uh, Ukraine and uh, um, for me uh, the most important was when you feel you like this person, uh, you, you feel it's your uh, people, yes? You can't feel, I don't care about situation, for example, in war, in Ukraine, because you feel like, oh no, I don't want he to be again in war, and something like this. Actually, unfortunately, in this film, uh, we shoot some heroes, like, we can see them, uh, soldiers, and some is died because come back to war and um, died in the war. Well, the, I, uh, you mean that these heroes of the movie, the participants of the movie, they are speaking about their uh, combats who died on the front line, they, right? Because they didn't uh, spoke about people who died, but uh, in film, when we... Uh, you show the shooting, shooting, the real shooting uh, of, of... We can of see the... people. Some people from hospital, yes, soldiers, and after that they are come back to war and they are died, unfortunately. But three main heroes. Uh, uh, they are alive. Thank now. you, God. Yes, still they are alive. alive. And well, I'm sure that the stories are very touching. And uh, um, on the other hand, uh, Nowadays, unfortunately, we have thousands of such a stories from the front line. So my question is, what makes these three stories, these three soldiers, uh, special? So you selected them for the movie. Um, special? You know, I have a so interesting story with my life, because I was in Kazakhstan, uh, and um, I have some people from my parents and we didn't speak uh, about Ukraine because uh, they have a lot um, propaganda from Russian and I show them uh, this film and is this in this film you can't hear any words from politics about Putin like something like this just we can see just people and after this film they turn to me and say strange uh, we feel in our TV something wrong. Very different. Really? And it's, it's... I don't know how it's possible. Because we spoke a lot about Ukraine before. Uh, I sent it a lot of video, um, a lot of proof and nothing wrong. Just these three persons, three eyes, the three eyes works of this hero. So this motivated you basically to to start this work on the movie, on the documentary about the Ukrainian war? Um, it, it just for uh, finals <laughs> was uh, about this film. Uh, motiv uh, about motivation for this film, I was volunteer in hospital. Mm -hmm. I did massage for soldiers. And after that, I feel like, wow, I see a lot of interesting stories. 
And, and I should bring them up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and I decided, no, I, I need to show it uh, to people. And I did it. Well, let's not develop this discussion groundlessly. We have a clip to watch about your movie. Только чтобы не было войны, она в детстве пережила войну, чтобы не было войны, что не дай бог война, и вот на тебе ее сын на войну попал. Слава Украине! Героям слава! Нам належит вся земля! Ты повертайся, ты головне повертайся, ты головне повертайся, живи! Was it hard to convince these three heroes to participate in the shootings? No. I know because uh, like I was friends with these people. And so you knew them before from the hospital? Yeah, yeah, because I was volunteer and they feel so comfortable with me. And uh, actually, um, uh, cinematographer, it was French guy, Mathieu David Cornon. And uh, he didn't understand language, Ukraine, Russian. And it's good because uh, heroes didn't feel him at mm -hmm. all. They felt safer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they felt like this was a private conversation only with you. True, true. Well, could you s share some special moments for you during the during the production of the movie? Um, you mean uh, when we did shooting or post-production? When you did shooting, some unforgettable moments that, that you would remember for the whole life. Um, you know, Anat one of heroes, Anatoly, told um, so interesting words. He say, look, so wonderful to live in this world, to see this uh, blue sky and everything like this. And this guy told it has, uh, he hasn't legs. And f all time when I feel like, oh, something is hot and something like this, I remember his world. <laughs> well, indeed, yeah, pro he knows how to cherish and what to cherish. Sure. And recently, from what I know, um, you had a premiere in Kiev, and I know that you invited those uh, three uh, soldiers uh, whose life stories are depicted in the movie. How did they react to it, mm. to the premiere itself? Reaction was so good. <laughs> um, I like reaction and I like uh, how film looks in uh, screen. It was good. Were they touched with the movie, with the final product also? It's, um, it's dependent. I don't know. For example, uh, one of girls told me, said, you know, when I, uh, has, uh, when I has plan, uh, have planned to see this movie, I thought, okay, I will cry and everything like this. But this movie has a lot of um, funny moments. And she says it's wonderful because uh, um, it was easy to see this film and so deep. It's well, not my world, it's here. <laughs> I know We Are Soldiers is to premiere in various cities uh, around the world at movie festivals. Where exactly do you plan to, to, to screen the movie? Uh, first, soon we will have premiere in Paris, in France, and after that, uh, and now we send it, uh, film a lot of festivals and wait for and swear, for feedback, we will see. But for today, uh, uh, this documentary will go to, uh, to festivals, it's a uh, Hollywood festival for documentary and the uh, um, Rhyme festival of documentary. Well, we here at UATV are wishing you best of luck at these festivals and hope that you will keep doing uh, this uh, contribution to Ukrainian culture and basically re revealing the real stories of people's lives and revealing the truth about Ukrainian war. And thank you so much for this conversation. Thank you, Tim. This was Svetlana Smirnova, the director of We Are Soldiers documentary. Thank you for watching and stay tuned with UATV.